Welcome back, everyone, to the NBA 2K25 My NBA Expansion Series with the Mexico City Aztecs. As of right now, through 14 games, we are 8 and 6 on a three game win streak and fourth in the conference, four games back from the one seed Golden State Warriors, who are 12 and 2. And within one game of the Spurs and Trailblazers, who are 2 and 3 right now in the conference. So we're off to a pretty good start, but there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. We do currently have Mark Williams missing some time due to injury, but he should come back within these next couple of weeks, probably after this Lakers game or before. We'll see what happens with him. But we do have more playing the five spot in place of him at this point. I do want to watch a game against the Jazz sometime this year again because they have become kind of one of our back and forth rivals with Dion York. And now they have Andrew Lee as part of their team as well, who was a top five draft pick drafted at number four and uh i want to see more of kibu or not kibu miller uh dion york and uh just want to see what they can do and um i think in this one though i do want to watch this game in cleveland on december 6th because the cavaliers currently are the number one team in the eastern conference 11 and two still have garland still have mitchell and should be a really fun matchup for Kylan Moore against Evan Mobley and Mark Williams if he returns to face off against Jared Allen and then John Cobb and David Dennis against DG and Spida. So should be a fun game. It'll be a good test for us against a team that, you know, leads the power rankings and the opposite conference. So let's just sim a couple weeks and see how things go in simming up to this point. We actually get Mark Williams back two games later, so we will go ahead and bring him back in the starting five, and we'll put more back at the four. But again, you know, some folks liked how he played at the four or at the five rather last episode. We should be seeing some more of that in this episode as well, just not as a starter. We come out of a game against, I believe, Minnesota, the first of this back-to-back -back going into this game against the Cavaliers, and Moore has a bruise right heel, but we're going to keep him in as that starter, and he should be all right. So we come in 15-10, and 10, still fourth in the conference now, a bit further back behind the Spurs as the Rockets have jumped up to second place, but the Warriors are still number one. We are 6-4, and four, though, in our last 10, and the offense has improved. We defeated the Pistons with a pretty you know good offensive day 128 30 for Cade Cunningham but 22 for J for J Jarris Walker and 20 and 6 for more here in this one we got crushed by the Rockets it's a part of their little spurt to jump up to second place on the conference 33 for Cam Whitmore 26 for Dennis 20 more points for Kylan Moore then we played very well against the Boston Celtics 33 for Cobb, 27 for David Dennis. Pretty good day for the backcourt as Tatum and Porzingis put up 25 plus. Then we lost again, this time against the Magic, thanks to 42 and 10 from Paolo Bancaro. Meanwhile, Dennis slots in 31 points here in this game. Then a four game win streak for the Aztecs. This was, was the previous week. 20 for Moses Moody, 20 and 11 for Dennis. Double double as well for Mark Williams. But Cobb goes 3 for 12. Then we go into Atlanta and beat them behind 20 plus from our backcourts. Fox 19 points to lead the Hawks in scoring. We beat the Nuggets by 10. 25 for Strother, 24 for Jokic. Uh, Cobb 24, Moore 23. Three steals, two blocks in this one for Jairus Walker. And then the last game on this win streak was a win against the Jazz. 24 for Andrew Lee, 23 for York, and then 24 for Cobb and Connect. Pretty great day right there for Connect. And Dennis drops in 13 assists and 19 points to go along with it as we shoot 55%. But then we lose two games in a row against the Grizzlies. Nobody scores more than 16. We only score one away as a team, and we allow... Two 34 plus scoring days for Memphis. We lose against the Clippers, who are not very good this year. 21 for Dylan Young, one of, one of his highest scoring days all year long, and 20 for David Dennis. But 48 and 8 for Luka Doncic. 
And now we're coming off a win by two points against the Timberwolves. Despite 36 from Ant and 29 from Rob Dillingham, we get 30 for David Dennis. Pretty good stretch of games for him his last couple of weeks. And we win this one by shooting 51%. And now we go into this game against the Cavaliers, and they are 16-7, and seven, now second in the Eastern Conference. Scoring has gone down a slight tick for Ka, but has gone up by a point per game for David Dennis. Looks like Connect has also shot better these last couple of games. And it looks like most of our guys that were shooting poorly, poorly to open the year have gotten back on track. Uh, Max Christie was at about 36%. Now he's at 53. So really hot stretch of games here these last couple of weeks. Yabasele, when he was playing, when Williams was out, only shot 36%. But we are looking pretty good offensively, at least uh, shooting-wise, except for Dylan Young, who has improved his numbers as well these last couple of games. Now, like some people have noticed, our small forwards have not really been involved offensively in showcase games. I'm not going to address their play, but just yet, I want to watch one more game in full and see what happens and see if things look different. And we do have uh, some different sliders, which you can find in the comments or in the description down below. There's a link there that will uh, show you where I have put those, but I will show them briefly here. I have adjusted the shot tendency sliders. That's the biggest thing that I've changed so far since our last game. And uh, I've done some testing and so far it seems to be a bit of a faster pace, a few less fouls and more threes being taken. So we will see if this looks better for us. Not quite perfect just yet, but maybe this will get us closer. On the floor for the visiting team. So we are on the road here in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. We will have Kylan Moore stick at the fourth spot as the starter for now, but could be some change coming if you want to get a full look at him playing center as a starter in place of Mark Williams and move Williams to that big backup role in place of James Wiseman, perhaps start Pierce Walker at the four instead. But for now, Mark Williams will stay as the starter at center. We'll keep connect as the starting small forward, but hoping to get him more open looks from downtown. Same goes for Dylan Young in terms of cutting. All four cutter plays, or at least three of the four cutter plays that we have, which are his top priority, I believe, are supposed to be focused on him getting those cuts. So hopefully that actually happens here in this one. The Cavs have an A home court advantage as tip-off is underway here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Some new sliders. Kylan Moore slightly shaken up, and he turns the ball over on the opening play of the game, and they go right to Mobley on the other end. Cavaliers this year not quite as good as in real life where they are still undefeated as we just sail the ball out of bounds. Two turnovers to open the game for Mexico City. Not what you want to see to open this one. But it's 2-0. Cavaliers have it. Screen set. Mitchell into a scoop layup. That shot's not going to go as he hits the deck. And now Aztecs looking for their first points and their first field goal of the day. And now a third turnover. Sloppy starts. Garland. Out of bounds. Aztecs take over. Got a set offensive play. Here's Cobb with it. Handing off. Open three. And Dennis laces it from deep. And the Aztecs are finally on the board after a couple of sloppy mistakes. Into a three. And Donovan Mitchell misses that jump shot. Aztecs trying to push the tempo as Connect goes into a foul. That goes against Jalen Tyson, I believe. So Connect has not been involved offensively, at least on showcase games. Has been a pretty solid like third option, fourth option in simming, but got to get him some more three-point looks because that is what he is best at. Mitchell tries again. No good. He is now 0 for 3 from the field. Off ball movements. 
Down low to Williams. Back and down Jared Allen. Blocked out of bounds. Inbound to Cobb. He's going to take on Mitchell. Stepping back. What a shot from John Cobb. Screen sets. Mitchell back finally on the board with that tray ball. He's averaged over 26 points per game here at home. But he starts one for four here. Off the screen. Dennis leaves it for more, but it's jarred away from Evan or by Evan Mobley as they lob it right to Mark Williams. Jared Allen Knight not quite on that same page as Garland was. And now Moore draws the foul on Mobley on the other end. Free throws coming up once again for the Aztecs. Moore right now has a bruised right heel, but it's not really affecting him too much, so not going to worry about that as he goes 0 for 2 at the charity strike. Cavaliers push it. Mitchell, another miss from behind the arc. Moore back out. Dennis has space, and this time no good, but Cobb tips the rebound to Williams for the putback. Ison steps into a triple and connects. Next, back out. Cobb has room. His three won't go either. Slow start behind the arc for both teams. They can roll here. Garland keeps it. Fires a triple off the mark. And the first overall pick pulls down the miss. And off to Dennis. He's got room and misses the jam. Mark Williams tracks it down. It'll stay with the Aztecs. But you got to hit that dunk as Mobley strips more of the ball. And will push it up to Jalen Tyson. They slow things down now as Garland leaves it for Mobley. Blocked from behind by Kylan Moore. Bob drives strong to the basket. Lost his dribble, throws it up anyways, and got it to go. Backdoor cuts. Garland finishes at the rim for, I want to say, his first points. Over 24 per game this year, though. He's been very involved on the offensive end. Waits for Connect. He's wide open. There's a good look. And Connect connects. Pick and roll again. Floated over the top. Late reaction from Moore. It's left for Connect. He fires again with room. Not going to go when Williams skies in for the putback. Already a couple offensive rebounds for Mark Williams here. Outboarding Allen so far. Behind the arc, it's Jalen Tyson. Two for two from downtown. But Jairus Walker now in. Allen Moore becomes the center on the court for the Aztecs. Yon Young, guarded by Corey Kispert now. Leaves it for Cobb. Catch and shoots online. Good step back. Garland throws it up and in. Lobbing it for Cobb. The dunk won't go. Our second missed attempt of the day. That was a great pass. Look at that right there. Aztecs have shot the best of any team the last month. Just over 50%. Rozier checks in now, but man, those dunks, those have got to go. Hurdle now in. He sets the screen. Deep three. Left short by Garland. Aztecs look to push here. And a mismatch for Kylan Moore. If we can find it. He's calling for it. Cobb finds him. Back and down Garland. Fading away. Left-handed shot. Beautiful. Assisting. Driving. And one for Donovan Mitchell. First foul against Mexico City. First against John Cobb. It's back to a one-point game. Eyeball screen sets. Cobb. Drives. 
steps back, goes up with it, and scores with a soft touch off the window. Open look. Top of the key. Back iron for Mitchell. Still kind of a poor shooting day behind the arc for him as he's now two for seven from the field. Just over three to go. Cobb spots up. No good. Mobley backing down Rozier. Walker right there. Three second violation. Aztecs take over. Screen set by Moore. Connect. Drives. Fouled by Herb Hood. Who is a rookie, I believe. Just taken in the lottery towards the end of it. As the first free throw goes for Connect. And he goes two for two. And the elbow. Herb Hood drives. Pass Connect with the finish. Another turnover, this time it's by Rozier. They have numbers. Allen left it short somehow. Gets it back for a three-point attempt, and Garland makes no mistake. We're tied at 25. Back door to Walker. Left-handed finish on the reverse, or I guess that was the right hand, but still. Good finish at the open. By the way, I forgot to mention that I did change the game speed from 55 to 59 as Herb Hood hits the fadeaway. He's two for two now, but game speed now at 59, and I think things look smoother. The game runs at a bit of a faster pace, so that is also a change to make along with those CPU slider adjustments. Good pass back out. Walker's open for the trifecta. Screen from Allen. Rozier gets around it. Pass back to Allen. Inside, picked up by Christie. Shot won't go, and Christie punks us out for the rebound. Aztecs leading by three. Moore trying to add to it, but his jump shot won't go. Catch and shoot for Aaron Wiggins, a foot inside the arc. No good. Rozier brings it up, leaves it for Christie. Downtown shots offline. First quarter clock counting down. Garland blows by Rozier and hits the pull up to close the gap back to within one. And that will end the opening quarter of play. 30 for the Aztecs, 29 for Cleveland's. We had six first quarter turnovers as the Cavaliers go fast with that pick and roll and Allen will put Cleveland in front here in their home courts. But six first quarter turnovers, got to clean that up here because I think we averaged like 14 per game, so just got to take care of the basketball. Rozier over Noel, can't hit, and Noel pulls down the miss. Shot clock under five. Noel just pulls up, but the three is no good. Tom back in for the Aztecs. He leaves it for Williams back door behind Jared Allen. Fading away. This time it's not going to go for Herb Hood from the high post. Screen from Walker behind the arc. Cobb. No good. Aaron Wiggins pulls down that defensive rebound. High ball screen. Wiggins guarded very well, and Williams missed time to steal attempt. Good pass to Cobb, laying it in through the contact from Kispert. Mexico City right now shooting 54%. Cleveland, 52%. Uh-oh, he's open. It's Corey Kispert. You can't leave him open for three. He will make you pay time and time again. David Dennis back on the courts. He finds Walker. Top of the key. That shot will go. He's two for two from downtown. What is that shot? Oh, it's a foul. 
Jalen Dyson fouled on the three-point attempt by Dylan Young. And by the way, look, look at this. The Cavaliers have Zach Levine, who just came in for about one minute and now is back on their bench. They've got Levine off the bench. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty scary. Screen set by Wiseman. He rolls inside, gets the pass, and throws it down. Shot clock winding down. Tyson has to make a move. Cobbs on him and blocks the shots. Violation. Got to find a shot here. Dennis actually has space. One hits back iron. Corner screen sets. Dennis gets around it, but Wiggins gets back door. Wiseman sets. Dennis fires. That one rattles out. Corey Kispert pulls down the rebounds. Good defense by the Aztecs. Mismatch though for Allen, and he still can't score. The defense down low by Dylan Young. We come in 14th in the league, so about midway in the league for rebounds per game. Got to work on that as Cobb throws up a shot and misses that one. Inside, Allen this time got the hoop and the harm. Are you kidding? It's like one of his first field goals here, and it comes in very tough fashion. Free throw goes. Cavaliers extend the lead to five. Backdoor for Dylan Young. He throws it down. It's a good little backdoor cut by him. Got to get him more involved on those off-ball screens. Now wide open. Tyson finally missed a three. A chance to tie things up here with a tray of our own. It's going to be Young trying one. And that one rattles in. Foot on the line. It's not going to be a three. It's a two instead. But back-to-back -back buckets for Dylan Young. That's what I, I would like to see for him after he's kind of shot better these last couple of games. Tyson over his last two. Dennis up to Wiseman. Got Allen up in the air with the right-handed finish. Aztecs retake the lead. Now we have jumped to a top six passing team. Just over 28 assists per game. That's fantastic for the offense. Off the screen, Tyson. Back door to Allen. Another bucket and foul. He's now four for seven from the field. So not as bad as I thought he was doing, but had a couple of strange misses as that free throw does not drop in. Cleveland leads by a point. Inside to Kylan Moore. He draws a double. Good pass back to Christie. Wide open. That one's got to go. Shot clock winding down. Allen, another foul drawn. That's now three in the quarter alone by him. I don't care about their schedule, man. Let's watch the free throws. First one, good. Second one, good. Young, catch and shoot three. It's online. Seven points here in the quarter. Great shot right there. That's one of his first makes from three here in a showcase game. And now we're tied again here at 48. With four to play in the first half, Mitchell finally back in for the first time here in the quarter for the Cavaliers. Now off-ball screen setting up for Tyson. It leaves it for Herb Hood. Guarded well. Mitchell will fire. And nail it! Good crossover move, and Christie drives inside. Could not get the bucket, but great move right there to get by Mitchell and draw the foul. And our free throws have been pretty inconsistent so far here in this one. It's Christie goes one for two. Want to get more and more involved here offensively, but so far it's been kind of a quiet day. Baseline. Mitchell leaves it for Pirtle. Williams. 
Great low post defense. Young lost it. Stolen away by Tyson. Cavaliers look to push. But Garland actually slows things down. Tyson spins. Blocked by Young. What a quarter for him. Christie lobs it. And that is deflected away by Pirtle. That is our eighth turnover already. We're a top 10 team in that category. And another hand one goes for Cleveland. This time it's Hood. He's been a solid like fourth scoring option for them. As Cobb is back in to close the first half. Dennis takes a seat. Rozier back in at points. Good pass inside to Walker with the jam. Pretty back and forth game so far. Cavaliers have been in front for most of this quarter, but it's still back and forth. Got to finish this first half strong. Mitchell with it. Goes by Cobb and draws the foul. Number six on the Aztecs. First free throw drops in for Mitchell. Mobley back in the game. And Mitchell's free throws are both perfect. Good cut by Cobb, and he's fouled at the rim by Mitchell. Just a second on Cleveland's in the quarter. Cobb, it's the first. 88% so far at the line this season, and his free throws are also perfect. Inside to Allen. How did that get past Mark Williams, man? What? 13 points for Allen. Got to slow him down. Green sets for Cobb. He leaves it back to Williams on the roll. And Shaw lobs it, and Williams comes flying in to steal it away. Once again, the lob uh, just kind of been off the mark for both teams, and now Mobley picks up his second foul. And the free throws from Walker can tie things up. First one will find its way through. Garris Walker, the tie at 57, got it to go. Mitchell penetrates, back out to Tyson. Shot clock winding down, Mobley lets it fly and absolutely cashes in. Okay. Good pass, Cobb answers right back with one of his own, 60 for either team here in the first half and still about one possession left. Avaliers look to uh, retake the lead, approaching halftime. Mitchell got it to go, plus he was fouled. Man, we are just fouling everybody. At least here in this quarter, free throw good. Under four seconds left here in the first half. Can we get a shot up? Cobb from beyond half court, no good. Cavaliers lead by three, 63 to 60. Both teams shooting quite well after one half of play, but the difference has been the fouls drawn and the steals racked up by the Cavaliers. We trail by three after shooting a 58% clip in the first half, and the Cavaliers start by stepping out of bounds. Who do we go to first? Island Moore's got it. Mobley's not gonna let him by. Gotta find somebody else to pass to here. Or turn it over. He gets it back. Pass the ball, Kylan, please. Cavs go quick. Mitchell 
Can't finish. Cobb stuck with him. Way to contest that shot. Now we can run some offense. Over the top feed to Kylan Moore for the opening bucket of the half. Ten lead changes, seven ties. This game has been neck and neck the whole time. Back door to Mobley. Moore just kind of got turned around. Behind the arc, Cobb's open and buries it. We're tied at 65. He's got 19 points on pretty efficient scoring. Mitchell blows by Cobb and Williams is going to get called for kind of a ticky-tack shooting foul. That looked clean to me. Free throws again for the Cavaliers. They've drawn a lot of fouls on us so far. As the free throws put Cleveland back in front. Williams leaves it to Cobb. He just fires over Mitchell and drills it. Mitchell rolls around to Mobley with the throwdown. Timeout, Mexico City. And how is that off of us? Excuse me. That was either a reaching foul or a ball off of Mitchell, but I guess it's going to be another turnover. Hooray. Screen set by Allen. Mitchell into a three. That goes. Island Moore drives and nearly got the end one. Number three on Evan Mobley. Four rookies so far. Moore is second with an 84% shooting split at the line. The last 30 days at least. Only behind Kibu Miller. Uh, two free throws are both good. Mitchell drives and Williams just got boosted. Both teams hot offensively. But you gotta stop that. I mean, we missed two of those and they haven't. And off. Open three and Cobb missed it. Garland pulls down the miss. Brings it up behind the back to Mitchell. He gets it back, and Cobb is called for his third personal. Ron ends. Will not go for Darius Garland. Back end is good. Screen set for Dennis, and he throws up a triple and absolutely drills it. And now Tyson throws down the hammer. Assisted by Evan Mobley. Good cut right down the lane. Cavaliers offense has been pretty good so far in this one. So is ours, but it's not quite as good as Cobb is fouled on the floater attempt. And now Mitchell has his fourth. I did lower the fouling sliders by a bit across the board, but so far... A lot of fouls being called. The free throws are good. Go drive. Garland blows by Dennis in for the scoop and score. Out to Cobb. And the lead is cut down to two. 26 already for Cobb. Picking up right where things left off at our last episode. Oh, Kispert trying to lace one from deep in Cobb's face. It doesn't go. Now a chance to tie or take the lead here. Got a mismatch inside for Kylan Moore against Darius Garland. He goes to work. No chance to stop that. Open three. Mobley drills another one. No. Driving. And Cobb draws another foul. I told somebody in our comments last episode that his draw foul rating right now is 87, so this checks out. I'm assuming Mitchell has a very similar rating as well. 
And we are keeping pace right now, but have yet to hold on to a lead for any significant amount of time here since the opening quarter of play. Wiggins leaves it for Allen, stuffed by the rookie Kylan Moore. What a play. Now a chance to jump in front. Mismatch down low. Go to work, big fella. He's got Dylan Young. Oh, that would have been awesome. The rookies trying to team up for a game-leading bucket, but instead, Young misses the wide-open shot, and Mobley hits the fade. Young tries again. Another miss. Moore tips it to himself. Bucket and foul. Let's go. That's the fifth on Cleveland. Just the first against Jared Allen, but hit the free throw, and we're all tied up. Ispert drives. Got it. There have been so many and ones, I promise. I did not increase any of those sliders since our last game for that, and we have seen a lot of and ones drop in for the Cavaliers especially. It's got them in front. Bob drives and draws another foul. Now it's us drawing a bunch here in the quarter after we were caught for like seven back in the second, and now Cobb is taking over. Free throws, perfect again. Back door. Mobley picked up by Walker. Good job there to force a pass out. Garland has to shoot. No good. And Mortis brings it up and fires the pull up. Will drop in. What a play. Some of y'all were saying that he plays a lot like Anthony Davis, and that is a play that he would make right there. Get the board, bring it up yourself, and just pull up in somebody's face, and your team's in front for the first time in a while. Mobley steps out again, his third time doing that. Just over three to go here in the third quarter as James Wiseman comes in in place of Kylan Moore. Rozier steps into a triple. Bucket will go! And he was fouled. He did this last episode too. And the Aztecs are looking pretty good offensively here in this game. 92 points and still three to go in the quarter. Man, what a game it's been so far. Allen the screen, a two-man gang with Mobley. He keeps it, blocked by Jarris Walker. Push the tempo, fellas, go fast. Cobb, mid-range, jumper, oh, it's gotta go. It's still a five-point game. Mobley dashes, and for some reason passed out of that shot. Kispert, though, will fire, no good. Wiseman has Walker on the cuts. Jared Allen slow to react. Mexico City trying to pull away here before we, we, we reach the fourth. Our best run of the game so far. It's been a slow last couple of minutes for the offense for Cleveland. And as I say it, Herb Hood just shuts me up. Okay, it's back to five. Out to Cobb, he's got space. Not gonna go. Levine steps back. Bucket no good, but that's gonna be number two against Rozier. Levine has barely played so far, to my surprise. But checks in to hopefully, for Cleveland, bring them back in this game within a score before the fourth. He does just that, at least for now. Off the screen, Cobb rises, no good again, 0 for his last two from downtown. Cavaliers look to tire, bring it back within one, lob pass, swatted away by Wiseman. Cobb drives, help defense, not going to come, then he connects with that shot off the window. 
Good. Spins and fades. That shot's no good. Bob gets around Kispert and another strong finish, man. He has looked absolutely fantastic here in this one. Just willing us to a lead. Now we're up by seven points. No shot clock left for the Cavaliers. They will hold it for the final shot here in the third quarter. Allen sets the screen. It's dumped inside to Hood. Fading away again off the glass and good. He's been really solid here in these first three quarters. We head to the fourth quarter. 12 to go in front by five. Ninety-eight, ninety-three. Christie's open and connects. Gets the assist. Great start to the fourth. Trying to win on the road once again here and get to sixteen and ten on the year. Here's a high ball screen. Tyson floats it to Pirtle, and he won't fire until now. And he draws the foul. Number two on Wiseman. Front ends. Good from Pirtle. Back ends. No good. Top of the key. Rosier. Can't knock it down. Good cut by Tyson. Christie picks him up. Low post. Pirtle the screen. Tyson. Mid range jump shots. Back to five. Connect, catch and shoot. Feed this guy the ball for Christ's sake. As Corlin just hit a cameraman on the other end of the court. What the hell was that? Take and roll with Walker. Rozier into a three. Not going to get it to go. Icing. Strong drive with another finish. How many times do we have to see? An and one go for Cleveland. This is absolutely wild. Rozier tries again. Oh, for his last three or four from behind the arc. And out of bounds again. Their fourth turnover stepping out of bounds. Dennis fires a three. Another shot goes with a four-point foul. Both against Garland, I think. And Dennis missed it. Come on, man. They go fast. Tyson misses the step back, though. Cleveland trails by eight here with nine and a half left in the fourth. Darius Walker. Draws a double, out to Young for three. No. They go fast again, no, it's a foul. Oh, is that not a block? Pretty good day here for Jalen Tyson scoring wise, 16 points. I believe in their starting five here in this one. And he ends up going two for three at the line. Time counting down. Young has to do something here. It's not going to go. Good defense by Tyson. Loaded. Almost stolen. Hurdle downhill. Bounce. Been called for four in less than four minutes. These guys are just drawing fouls. Way more often than I was expecting here. And it's keeping them well within reach. 103, 107. Lob. How many alley oops have we seen not work in this game? Hurdle sets. Tyson back to them. They're back within two. Eyeball screen set by Moore. Dennis downhill. Foul, but no buckets. 
Only nine points so far for Dennis. Now he's got double digits, and the free throws are both perfect. Catch and shoots. Tyson has been electric from downtown. The Cavaliers are not going away. We could be in for a very tight finish here, folks. What a game it's been. Trading leads, trading buckets, trading, you know, runs. And now we turn the ball over. Tyson jars it away. Garland to Mobley. Back to Tyson. Now to Garland for the lead. He missed it. Don't cough it up, Young. He fires over Mobley. What a play. Tough guy to get the ball over on a pull-up. And Young does just that. Definitely his best game for us so far in a showcase one. Very impressed by his offensive ability. Tyson out to Kispert. He falls, hits the deck. The shot won't go. No foul is called. Whose defense can get the stops with about half the quarter left? It's not going to be Corey Kispert as Callan Moore gets to work for his 14th and 15th points. Kispert guarded well. Mobley. And in his face, it's another triple. That's his third of the night. I think he's only taken three, and he said all of them. Dennis takes the screen, lobs it for more, sailing out of bounds. Not a single alley -oop has worked. Never seen anything quite like this before. Don't know what's going on, but neither team can put one together, and it's still a high scoring game. 113, 111, with plenty of time left. Timeout, timeout. Mitchell Herb Hood back in for Cleveland. Mobley back and down. Moore has it denied. It's at least his second of the day. Very good low post defense by the first overall pick. As Cobb is back in for Mexico City and has it rejected himself by Donovan Mitchell. Under five to play. Mitchell steps back and Ty stinks up at a buck 13. Anybody's game here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. This could be one of those hardwood classics here in the series, folks. Who can make the most plays to come out on top? Let's just find out. We turn, oh, we almost turn the ball over. Cobb just throws up a shot. It's not going to go, and Jared Allen pulls down the miss. Lobbed inside, Mitchell fires. Blocked again. This time it's by Cobb. Oh, Dennis. Good move to make some space, but the shot won't go. That was a good look. Now under four to play. Up to Herb Hood. He'll fire. Blocked away by Moore. Uh-oh. Open look off the inbound pass. And Garland puts the Cavaliers in front. The offense has to find the rhythm now. Trailing by two. It's been quite the run by Cleveland. Tyson back in, of course, in place of Herb Hood to close it out. That's not good for us because he's been... A very high pr producing role player in this one as Cobb knocks down a triple, stepping into it. And we jump back in front. Got a packed house here in Cleveland for the two seed Cavaliers. And what a battle it's been. Mobley, his first miss from downtown. Lobbing it off the backboard. Another turnover. Tyson missed it. We're so lucky. Where do we go too late? Dennis has a mismatch. Somebody else might as well. Off ball movement setting up for Dennis. He has to fire over Mobley. His shot's not going to go. Quiet scoring day for him. His shot has not been... A Really effective here in this game. 
Mitchell steps back. Top of the key. No good from three. Get the ball to Cobb or connect from downtown. Or connect down low to Williams with the finish. Three-point game. Down low to Allen. Rejected! Kylan Moore! Another denial here in the fourth. This third of the quarter. Cobb drives. Too much under it. And it goes the other way. Game's not over. Tyson leaves it for Allen. Missed again at the hoop. It's still a three-point lead for Mexico City. Under 90 seconds left to go. Cobb. Off the foot. Recovered by Moore, but he can't finish. Just a foot away. No threes. Tyson leaves it for Allen. Mismatch against Connect. Mobley catch and shoot. It's good. Absolutely drained. Tied at 118. Crowd on their feet. We have a wire to wire finish here. What a contest. Dennis turns it over. No. We need to stop. Who's going to get it? Under a minute to go. Mitchell got the shooter's roll. Timeout Aztecs trailing. All right. 43.6 to go. Get this ball to connect or Cobb behind the arc and retake the damn lead. Or let Cobb go to work inside with the finish. What a play. Timeout Cleveland. We're tied again. Cobb's got 39. The Cavaliers have three players in 20-plus scoring figures. And we are all tied up here. Just over 30 seconds to go. Mobley has it. Now to Mitchell. Stepping back for the lead. The three won't go. Connect pulls down the rebound. No turnovers. No mistakes. Just take a good shot and take the lead with a couple seconds left. Only three seconds between the two sh shot clock and game clocks as Cobb goes to work. Fires. No good. 5.3 to go. The Cavaliers will advance the ball. They will have the final shot. No open looks. 5.3 to go. Mitchell. Fires! No good! This game is headed to overtime. I wouldn't have it any other way. Extra basketball here in Cleveland. It's going to take at least five periods of play to find out the winner of this one. Definitely one of the best games of this series so far. Had a couple of good ones. Dennis fires the step back and hits it over Jared Allen to get the scoring started here in overtime. Aztecs back in front. Tyson drives the reverse. Will go. Wow, Williams was right there. So was Connect. Tyson is 23 points. Top of the key, screen set by Williams. Dennis pulls up again, not gonna go, and Garland pulls it down. Mobley on the other end, missed it from downtown. Out to Cobb for three, nobody puts a hand up, and Cobb's got 42. Just like our last game in a showcased episode, 125-122. Mitchell answers back. Both teams just have a response for every bucket the other team puts in. Off ball screen sets. Cobb catch and shoot. No good. Lobbing it for Mobley. It finally works. That's the first alley-oop that either team has completed. 
and it comes in overtime to Evan Mobley, no less, over the trees. Williams, open after a missed time steal by Jared Allen. And poked away and stolen by Dalton Connect. He leads the fast break. Moore over Mobley. Perfect. What a play by Connect to jar it loose and bring it up himself and pick up the assist too. Neither team is led by more than a score in several minutes as Tyson continues to knock his threes down. 26 now for their starting small forward. And Cleveland leads by one, under two to play. Moore can't finish, gets it back, and lays in the putback. The rookie's stepping up here late. Mitchell drives, picks up his dribble, deflected off of the next cheek, I think. A little cheeky smile right there by him. And now 13 on the shot clock for Cleveland. Coming now from their backcourt after that deflection. Mitchell to Allen inside. Couple of pump fakes. The fadeaway. Jared Allen, the one-handed fadeaway. And neither team is ready to really lose this game quite yet. 132-131 here. Got to find a good look. That's going to be as good as it gets. Throwing it down. It's Mark Williams. Mitchell blows by Cobb. And misses from the elbow. Here's a chance to extend the lead. Connects to Dennis. Fouled at the rim. Absolutely huge free throws. Mitchell has five fouls. There have not been many fouls called late here in this game. That's the first of overtime in the first and the last, I think, eight or so minutes of game time. And the free throws are both perfect. Walmart point guard. Three-point lead. They're going to talk things over. All right. About 50 seconds left to go. Cavaliers could use a three right about now. And Tyson's given room. But this time missed it. Mobley the offensive rebound. Garland back to Mobley. He's open and he drills it. Neither team refusing to go away. 37 to go in overtime. Williams to inbound for the Aztecs. No telling who's going to win this game as Dennis misses the corner triple. 11 seconds between the shot and game clock as Mitchell blocked by Cobb, but they get it back again. Mobley, no! He missed it. Thank God. No shot clock left. We can hold for the final shot of the first overtime. Who is it going to be for? Who do we call on to end the game? It's Cobb. Back to Williams. Missed it. Puts it back in. Point two on the clock. Mark damn Williams. Only point two left to go. Can they get a shot off in time? Tyson inbounds. Garland can't get it away. And Williams wins it for the Aztecs. They win the Cleveland Classic and Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. What a game. We somehow come out on top and win our second of a back-to-back -back on the road. Our 16th win here on the year. And what a win that was. The best game of the entire series to this point. Holy moly. Simply unforgettable game right there. These two teams were just trading haymakers. Neither team could pull away until the last 
like third of a second. But Mark Williams puts back his own miss and gets us the win despite 26 or more from three different Cavaliers. We come out on top. 42 for John Kyle. The offense ran through him and why would it not? He is our best player, our best shooter. And how about Mark Williams and Kylan Moore? Double doubles for each guy. Moore made some absolutely huge fourth quarter and overtime plays on both ends. Four blocks, I think all but one of which came in that fourth quarter. Some huge stops down the stretch. Despite Dennis shooting poorly, we overcome his mistakes and win this one in Cleveland. That is the Cleveland Classic. What a game. 55% for Mexico City, 53% for the Cavaliers. Both teams shoot over 39% uh, from downtown and take about 20 seven free throw attempts but we win this one that was an amazing game that will leave us still in fourth place here in the conference but with wins like that you got to feel pretty good about this team offense looked very good through the most part of that contest and now we have a very back and forth home and away stretch these next couple of weeks and don't forget that the All-Star Game is going to be in Mexico City. So we will probably watch a lot of the All-Star break in a couple episodes. Who do y'all want to see next? We could watch a game against the Suns. We could watch a full game against the Rockets, against Frank Bauer and Deion Houston. I forget where Wendell Brown got drafted to. We could watch a game against him because he was another guy that we could have drafted instead of Kylan Moore. We could face the Brooklyn Nets, who have Harrison, Sally, and also there was some other player that was also taken pretty high by them. Zach Webb as well, who had that Hall of Fame potential. So we could face them in about a month of time. I forgot, it is the Utah Jazz that have both Andrew Lee and Wendell Brown. Brown is like 10th in their rotation. But still getting playing time, I think. Maybe not. He has not played the last several games. Could have been hurt. But maybe he's not. Just cannot find room right now for him. He has actually not even played this year. How has Wendell Brown not played this year? He's played a single minute. Andrew Lee looks to... Be playing, I think. Had 30... Seven minutes per game, but is not in their lineup right now. As it looks like they have acquired Desmond Bain via trade. Let's get an update here on these transactions. The Pistons trade Keegan Murray and a second for Patrick Williams. The Jazz gave away Laurie Markkinen to get Desmond Bain. Curious move with Andrew Lee putting up like 24 points per game as a starting shooting guard. Not sure I follow that logic. We saw the Gobert trade. We saw, we, we actually have not seen Nas Reed in a first round pick from the Lakers. Now, Nas Reed finds himself in Dallas as Suggs is the new point guard in LA. Interesting stuff for that right, right there because they have Will McBride. What is, and Jalen Hochefino. What are these teams even doing? Suggs is a bench player. Nas Reed was, I think, starting over Tari Eason, but what can you do? We have six wins. We have 16. Things are looking pretty darn good. We can't see yet this early if anybody is on track to make the All-Star game, but what a game that was against the Cavaliers. I'm so happy that I watched that game over any other game because that was the best of the series so far. We come out on top. It's always nice to win games like those where your team is just making some huge clutch, clutch shots and getting some big stops down the stretch. And uh, we're looking pretty good, guys. Team chemistry 100%. Still fourth place here in the conference. On track at least right now through three showcase games to make the playoffs. That is a good sign. 7-3 here in our last 10. Things are looking up for Mexico City. We are a fully healthy team. Once more, recovers fully from that bruised heel. But that will end the episode here, guys. What do you think? 
I think that is a game where you are glad to be starting a Mark Williams at the five and have Kylan Moore in there at the four as well, because both guys were pulling down some big offensive rebounds and getting some nice stops on defense too. But that will do it here for me, folks. Please like the video, subscribe, leave your feedback down below. Have a great day as always. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.